Hello, YouTube and IGTV fam. Yes, I'm posting this on both platforms. Julie here, welcome back. So for today's video, I am gonna try something new. So it's gonna be a first impressions slash review video of this guy. So I've seen a lot of girls crimp their hair actually with um, a straightener and kind of like do this technique. And then I did a little more research because that just seemed like a lot of work and saw a lot of people doing it with a device like this. So went on my handy dandy Amazon account and found this guy. This was the top rated like crimper um, for the best price. So it had the most reviews, it had great reviews and it was only $30. Um, there were some other ones that were like $150 that had similar reviews, but yeah, $30 and good reviews you got me sold. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on my hair for the first time right now. I literally just took it out of the box. I haven't done any test trials or anything like that. So I have no idea how I'm, how this is gonna make my hair look. I mean, it could do the job and it could just make my hair look horrible. Um, we will find out. So you'll have to wait till the end to see what it does to this hair. But before we get to that, for all my YouTube followers, be sure to follow me on Instagram at It's the Jewels. And for all of you Instagram followers, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, all right, let's go ahead and test this baby out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on, it's just like the center button right here. And it looks like we have different temperatures, 180. Oh, it's in Celsius, interesting. Um, so it goes down to 80 degrees Celsius and it goes up to 230 Celsius. I'm gonna put it on 180. I don't know, that just sounds like a good number to me. So while this guy heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair and spray in my handy dandy living proof heat styling spray. Um, and for this, I'm like trying to figure out how, or like what will be the easiest way to do it. If you guys see me looking down here, it's cause my mirror's down here. Um, I think I'm gonna section off the top portion and then do like kind of all this hair down here first and then yeah go from there super cute um and just to let you know this is day two hair so i washed my hair yesterday and then this is what it looks like when i wake up um but yeah i am gonna go ahead and i guess spray this guy in my hair Go. I think this guy's heated up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I don't know where to start. I guess with this first section here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy like this and hold it like that for 10 to 15 seconds. And I hear you're not supposed to get like super close to the root, so I'm not doing that. I'm leaving like a little bit of space in between the root and where this guy starts, so we'll see if that works out. All right, that has been 10 to 15 seconds. And then go there. I was watching another girl kind of do this with a different one and her hair was so much shorter and literally she just, it took like two seconds. It's gonna take so much longer to do this, but longer hair. And then, Last little section. It's up to you, I guess, if you wanna leave it like straight at the end. I'm just gonna try it like this and see what I like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my God, this on top of my head is so cute. Maybe I should like, you know, fix that, whatever. Okay. There we have my first 
section. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Okay, not bad. So far, so good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this whole section, speed it up a little bit, and then come back to you guys. Okay, so finishing up this last little section, and already my one tip for this brand when they send this is they need to send one of those like little gloves because I totally burnt my finger. Um, I think when you get like, I'm just not used to this thing being so long. I'm used to like my little curling iron, so I know where not to touch. And this I wasn't really good at that. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this so far. What do you guys think? It like kind of looks a little weird on camera because like my hair is so dark right here and then it gets lighter. So we'll have to see what it looks like when it's all done. So don't judge this yet. Watch till the end and see like the final result because like I'm I'm iffy here. I like it, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Let me flip that over there. Um, it'll, I assume, be the same technique. Also, something I noticed is I feel like I can get thicker sections and do it. Whoa, I literally got that so close to my face. Um, and it like gets all of it because it's so long. So I actually probably could have got way more in here because there's like a lot more space there. Um, obviously that will just like come with time of me figuring out like how much hair I could put in and stuff like that. But because this is my first time, uh, I'm still figuring it out. But yeah, I think this will definitely be faster than doing like the straightener technique that I was talking about where people like go like this. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this whole side, speed it up and then I'll slow it down and show you guys the bottom half. All right, one thing that I think I should have done differently and I'll do next time is in my other, like whenever I curl my hair normally, and actually I have a video of how to curl hair for beginners, I'll put it up here. Um, I always start with pieces in the back because then when I'm done with it, I could throw them in the back and they don't get in the way. That was one thing that I think I did wrong with this guy is like, I started in the front and then all these other pieces got in the way and I was like trying to throw it back and front and all that. So. I think with the top section, I'll actually try to start in the back. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and like pull all the hair over to the right side. I'm gonna take this part it where I'm doing like kind of a side part. So obviously I'll pull down where my part's gonna kind of be. I'm gonna keep this guy still up. Let's do a little more. About right put this guy back up looking all cute with this on my head <laughs> and then do this guy but start with the back pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and put again my living proof heat protect it in there gotta protect this hair I just got it done cut off all those dead ends, got a crazy treatment, so I need to protect this guy. And go ahead and start with the back section. Because when I'm done then with this section, I can throw it back with like all the other curl and it won't get in the way of me doing this section. So that's just a tip that I think will be easier. You guys can do it however you want, but I think that'll be easier. But so far this device is pretty easy, except for like that minor burn um, because it's big and I need to figure out like how big this is and where not to put my fingers. Um, it's pretty easy. Again, it would be nice if it did have a glove because especially for this like last section, 
it's like I'm kind of not being able to hold it. I'm having to like just like hopefully close it really quickly so it grabs it. Um, so like one of those like heat gloves would be awesome. I think I have one I could probably go get, but I'm living dangerously today. See, it's like this last little section right there. Like, I don't know if I want to leave that straight. This, all this other hair, I like curled it, so I'll probably keep doing that, but maybe later I'll test where like, I'll keep a little bit out and straight and just see that look. But yeah, this is the part I'm talking about. So I'm gonna have to like, eye it and quick, yeah. So like that didn't work. This piece is even too short to like really get a curl in it. Maybe I'll have to just have that to be straight, but dang, this piece looks really good, right? <laughs> See, flip it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this front piece and then I will come back and talk to you guys again. All right, I will probably have to go at the very end when everything's done and maybe just like go over some of these front pieces again, like this, you guys can see that, it like did this weird flip thing, so I might have to just like flip that the other way because that's not cute in the front and maybe go a little bit higher. We'll see, but let me go ahead and then pull all this hair to that side and bring this down and go ahead, brush it out. I'm gonna put, again, living proof heat protectant on this side. I'm give it in my eye. And going to do what I did with, whoa, the other side and start from the back. Done. I'm actually looking at it and I don't love where I parted my hair to part a little more over here so which I think will be fine um, because I'm actually gonna go over some of these top pieces and maybe get them a little closer to my scalp we will see so let me get my hair exactly where I want it like that and then Check it out. Actually, now because this side was crimped and I pulled it over here, it's actually a little higher, which I like. It's a little crazy right now. I feel like it'll chill a little bit. Um, and really, I don't think I need to fix too many pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you guys the back. I have no idea what the back looks like, so I wish you could let me know, but you can't. So I guess I'll find out. So here is the back. Is it, is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I'll find out after I'm obviously done talking to you guys here, I'll go look. But I like the front, I think this is really cute. I think it's it's really easy and pretty fast um, because you can grab so much hair at once. Like the last few sections, I was able to do it just like two on this side and two on this side, which was awesome and I think it's pretty cute. Definitely wanna let it chill a little bit. I think because I like, messed up my part a little bit that was my fault this side's a little like whoa um and that's what i hear like i hear like don't brush it out don't do any of that because then it just gets like frizzy and crazy um so i'm not going to do any of that uh but overall i really like it and this tool is great um if you guys like this hairstyle or looking to do this hairstyle i would highly recommend this let me just turn this off now that i'm done with it um for $30 or like around $30, it totally did the job. Um, and I like it. I'll use it again. I hope you guys like it too because then I'll, you know, I don't wanna be walking around and people are like, oh my God, her hair's crazy. But I think it's cute. Um, this was super easy. Like I said, the one downside was maybe it needs to also come with one of those gloves because 
I burnt myself, but then again, I have, I know I have one somewhere. And I guess if a little more practice, I probably won't burn myself, but this is great. Highly recommend it. All the reviews on Amazon are correct and that's why I bought it. So yeah, I would give this guy an A. All right, well, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope you enjoy my hair. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And like I said before, be sure to follow me on Instagram at itslajules and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next time.